The location is Boston, and night will host two championship events. You better look better than that. Get the f out of my cage. UFC 292 is about bragging rights and the claims to the Bantamweight Championship. Signed, delivered, and sealed, baby. Aljamain Sterling versus Sean O'Malley. Brutal striking versus outstanding grappling. The age old debate in MMA deliver front and center. The stage has been set since Sterling defeated Henry Sujo at UFC 288. You better hope you look better than that. You got a whole year. You better than that. You got a whole year to work for you. You better be ready to come away. O'Malley decided to waste no time and confronted him right after the fight in the octagon. Let's dive into UFC 292. So here's the stake. Sterling has been dominant in the bantamweight division, but lacks popularity. O'Malley is a crowd favorite and striking master, but questionable wrestling ability and endurance. Aljamain Sterling, August 19th, have become a superstar. Words have been exchanged via Twitter and through interviews. The championship is on the line. First time I was really face to face with Aljo. I've had confrontation with him and, and had like with our clothes on. So check it. We got Aljamain Sterling, the dude holding the bantamweight gold, and he's squaring off against O'Malley, the poster child for crossovers and marketing magic. These two words are gonna go toe to toe in the UFC at 292. You better look better than that. I drag ass up and down this fucking octagon, bitch. But here's the twist. Sterling's journey to the title has been bumpier than a roller coaster in an earthquake. Disqualification wins, split decisions. It's like his fights and his popularity are playing poker with destiny and he doesn't have a full house. And then he pulls off a win against TJ Dillashaw who had one arm on vacation mode. TJ was battling a hurt shoulder. Nevertheless, Sterling's grappling game is solid. O'Malley, on the other hand, is Sterling's antithesis in many ways. He's a colorful, cocky striker who prioritizes business savvy over fighting the absolute best every time. Shiga knows how to market himself. Sean submitted himself as a legit challenger with a narrow but thrilling fight of the night against former champion Peter Young. It was O'Malley's first win over an elite bantamweight and validated his title pursuits. I didn't know, honestly. I, I thought it could have went either way. I'd have to rewatch it. But... Sterling, aka the Funk Master, has taken issue with how UFC President Dana White and UFC Chief Business Officer Hunter Campbell handled the title bout. As Sterling felt the promotion made it seem like he didn't want to fight O'Malley. Sweet motherfucker in the crowd, get this piece of shit out of my cage. O'Malley responded back in an interview saying that he's just coming up with excuses and that he doesn't understand why those words would come out of his mouth. O'Malley believes that he has earned his way and market his way into be one of the greatest in the bantamweight division. Sterling disagrees. Sterling believes Sean O'Malley is a little weak for bantamweight and says he'll break his ribs with one squeeze. O'Malley is known for his striking ability, but the real question is his conditioning. Will he have enough endurance to defeat Sterling? O'Malley has suffered multiple foot injuries and even had a hip surgery in 2018. Coming into the fight, the Funk Masters last win took place against Henry Sujo at UFC 288 in May 2023. He won by a split decision in the fifth round. Sterling has won his last five fights, defeating one of the opponents and going to judges for the last four. Again, Sterling's record is stupendous, and his ground game, his grappling is solid, but his fighting style is incredibly boring, some would say. While O'Malley, on the other hand, defeated three of his last of five opponents and is known for his knockout power. His last fight, he won against Peter Yan at UFC 280 in October 2022. In Vegas, the odds are against O'Malley coming into the fight. O'Malley, who's coming off a split decision win over Peter Yan, knows the pressure is pressure is on to make a statement in his 135 pound title bout. Now, who's gonna walk out with the belt? The underrated champ or the marketable maverick? Who knows? This is the UFC, my friends, and we're strapping in for one hell of a roller coaster ride. Well, that was all for today. Let us know who you think is gonna be victorious in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please share with any combat sport aficionado. Like always, do not forget to subscribe to MMA Authority. Stay safe and keep your guard up. We'll be back soon with another video.